Hey guys, uh, in this session, we're going to be looking at how to create an animation in Desmos. Now, to create an animation, you're going to need an image. So just click on plus and click on the image and import the image that you want to be using. So in this case, I'm going to be using the old Batman. Uh, a couple of things about the image is first, you can actually adjust the height and width of the image. Right now, it's uh, 10 units up and 10 units across, but that's actually looking at the image itself. Uh, if you want to make it smaller, so in this case, I'm going to make it uh, five by five. Um, and I think five by five is basically like five from there to there, five from there to there as well as the height. Now, the important thing to notice is currently Batman is at center zero, zero. Let's say we have uh, the graph of X squared and we want to, we want Batman to actually go along the graph of X squared. Now, what you'll notice is when I click on Batman, uh, let's see especially this part here, the center. See how I'm moving Batman, and what you should see is this thing right here where the center is also moving. Okay, notice how if I move Batman, the center is moving as well. So what I would like Batman to do is I would like Batman to follow along the path of the parabola. So the simpler way is putting it something like, if I put it as um, X, so if I put it as zero, not zero, I'll put it as A, and then, X squared. All right. Now that's not going to work because what I'm saying is like, if I put in a slider of A, let's just make, maybe get rid of that X squared. Put that as zero for now. So what A and zero does is that if, as I press play, as A increases, Batman's actually going to the right, and as A decreases, Batman is going to the left. But he's not really going up. That's because, um, that's because the Y value of a center is actually at zero but we want it to be at x squared. Um, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna replace this x squared with, we're gonna put it as, I mean, normally we'd put it as y equals to um, x squared, but in this case, I'm gonna put it as just f of x. Okay, so if I put it as f of x, so instead of zero here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it as f of x. Again, it's still not working. That's because what we wanted to do is we want the function, uh, the function right here. We wanted to take a and put it as uh, a squared and then calculate what the value is. So I'm going to change that f of x to f of a. And when I do that, there goes Batman. All right. And right now he is going up and down the parabola. So that's kind of one way to get started. Now, what if I want, uh, say, a parabola and a straight line? So let's say, for example, I want to do this. So what's a good value that I know? I know that when x equals to 5, that's a 25. Now it's too much. Let's go 4 and 16. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put this point 4 and 16 just so you guys can actually have a reference point. And I'm going to ask him to land at 4 and 16. I would like him to land at 20 and 0. 20 and zero. Okay, so now obviously what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and be cheeky and I'm gonna get a straight line to actually go through those two points. Um, oh, by the way, this is something that you can do, but might not do it now. Uh, four and 16, I need to work it out, guys. Give me one second, I'll work out the equation. Okay, there we go, I've actually worked out the equation. But really, I want them to follow a particular path. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace f of x uh, from zero to four. Four. So what do we have? Zero to four as my parabola, and then my straight line is going to be between four and twenty. Okay, and I would like Batman to actually go through these particular points here. So basically, Batman to start here, um, go along up up the parabola, and come down the straight line. So to do that, I need to combine two of two of these equations. So See how I got f of x? I'm going to rename that as p of x. I'm going to call it p of x because it's a parabola. And this y here, I'm going to call it s of x because it's a straight line. Okay, so now what I want is, so my new function is going to be just these two parts here. So I need to combine p of x and s of x together. So I'm going to call this f of x is equal to, and this is where you need to keep an eye how I'm doing this. So the first part is between zero to four. I would like you to and put that little, I don't know what those two dots are called. 
colon or semicolon? I think it's colon. Somebody can correct me. So for the first part, I would like it to be P of X. All right. And then for the second part of the graph, which is between 4 to 20, uh, and again, colon, I would like it to be S of X. Okay, there we go. There's our two graph now. Um, well, now you can see that how this the colors are in green. That's because that's F of X. So I don't really need this. I don't really need my point. I don't need this. And as for Batman itself, Batman's no longer going to follow F of... Um, oh, actually, yeah, that's a good point. I need to actually have it as F of A. So, okay, so I made a, I made a slight mistake. I shouldn't have actually put this as F of A. Let's say I put it as G of X, for example. If it was G of X, then I would go back to the center and change that as G of A. Now, one other thing, right now, Batman's not visible. That's because A value is negative 8. Now, if we look at negative 8, there's nothing there on the Y value. So what we want to do is we want to click on this little edit button. Our minimum value for A is going to be 0. Our maximum value for A is going to be 20. Oh, there he is. There's Batman. He's arrived. And go done. And now if I press play, I should see him go up the parabola and come slowly down the... Oh, what's happening here? Pause. Let's have a look. Oh, I didn't put an end. Okay, I'm going to put that as 20. Enter. And done. Let's try that now. There we go. There comes Batman. Down, down the ramp. Cool. Uh, so that's how you actually make an animation, guys, uh, with using like multiple graphs. Um, yeah, any questions, pop it in the comments below. Apart from that, thank you for watching.